You went flying big as fur. Hey, you went driving around the world. Hey, you went brown like squirrel. What's goody, what's goody? It is your girl, The Best Fowler. I am back again with another video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you're notified of when I next upload. Just a heads up, today's video will be a two-parter. It was just too long to put into one video, so I did have to break it up. Don't forget to come back for part two. In today's video, we are using nail foil. We haven't used nail foil a lot in our designs on this channel. However, I have used it back in the day before I was recording myself and it can be a hassle. I will be the first one to say it and it will show in this video. Speaking of this video, this was recorded back in February. The content got a little bit blurry and the lighting was off, which is why I've been contemplating whether or not to put it out. But I figure what the heck, I'll put it out there. If somebody gets something from it, they do. If they don't, that's unfortunate. But yes, today we are using nail foil. So if you want to see how I do that, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and do our check-in. Today is Wednesday, April 3rd. It is 6.38 p.m. If you are having a good day, go ahead and drop a smiley face in the comment section. If you're not having the best day, I do hope that my video brings you some joy. I am going to narrate a little bit of what I'm doing in the video because I find that the videos with the narration do better than the ones with just strictly music and me personally I like somebody to talk to me when I'm watching a video I don't want to just listen to music yes the music be popping but no thank you talk to me so I am taking my nail drill with a sanding band and I'm just cleaning up my cuticles as y'all know this is how I do my prep and then I also rough up the nail bed with the nail drill as well it is on slow mode like I don't know what number it's on but it's not going fast and it's not hurting me make sure you do that because you don't need to be doing stuff that's going to hurt your fingers or like damage your actual nail bed because when you're ready to wear your nails your real nails you do want them to look semi-decent right right so make sure you're not hurting yourself when you're doing your nails next i do put on my nail tips as y'all know i got these nail tips from amazon they are extra long stilettos and i love these for me they're perfect and they fit on everybody's nail bed so that's a plus this nail glue came from amazon as well it's just called the nail glue it's not anything spectacular i just like it for me I have had these nail foils for over two years probably. I bought a lot of them when I first started doing nails thinking that nail foil was as easy as it looks in the YouTube videos and I was mistaken because nail foil is not that easy to work with but we are working with it today and I am going to try to incorporate it in more nail designs if you are interested. I did go in with my nail drill and the sanding band to rough up the nail tips. I felt like this would help the gel adhere better to the nails as well as the nail foils that we're using. I won't say that it helped, but it didn't hurt anything either. I will say that I didn't have any real inspiration when I started doing this nail set. I just knew that I wanted to use the nail foil and I wanted to do some nail art. The nail art is kind of Valentine's Day sweeties day type inspired but it can be used all year round if you ask me after i rough up the nail tips i do go in with the nail art foil glue this brand is xsc that's kind of a tongue twister but anyways i got it from amazon and it came in a two pack these bottles are pretty huge so i don't feel like you're going to run out anytime soon this is probably my second or third time trying this nail glue, so I don't know if I would recommend it to others just yet. I need to try it a little bit more for myself, but if you have some extra coin and you want to try it out, feel free to try this brand. This is what I have, so this is what I'm using. The product is very thick and it applies to the nail tip smoothly. I feel like it's definitely sticky but I would not cure it for a full like 30 seconds like typical. I put it under the lamp for about 10, 10 seconds because I want it to stay sticky. I don't want it to like dry down. And in my past experience, I feel like I had to under cure it in order to get the nail foils to actually stick. 
After curing for about 10 seconds, I take the nail foil and I just lay it on the nail and then I start rubbing it in as much as I can. And I just pray to the guys that the design actually sticks to the nail. So each nail was a hit or miss. I'm not going to lie. I was like either going to get good coverage or I got patchy coverage. The patchy coverage didn't bother me too much with this nail design simply because I knew I was doing nail art on top of it. But a couple of nails, I did have to apply more nail foil glue and go over it again with the nail foils. You can clearly see where the nail foils stuck and where they didn't. And around the edges of each nail, it really didn't take. I don't know why that is. I don't know if I maybe cured it for too long or not long enough. I'm not sure. Again, y'all, this is probably my third time using this stuff. And I'm not an expert. I just watched a couple of videos and I went for it. That's typically how all of my videos go. I feel like I wasted a lot of this nail foil because of the way that I laid it on my finger. My goal was to get more of the purple in the nail design, but I don't feel like I did that. And then it's like, after you do this, you can't reuse this paper for real, for real. Like, I mean, you can, but can you? I don't think so. You can really see where the foil stuck and where it didn't. On my thumb, it really didn't stick that well. The poly gel that I am using is Savaland. It is their Luminous Poly Nail Gel in the color ruby purple i've had these for a while now they do glow in the dark but i didn't get any footage of it glowing in the dark i do apologize i used this to fade into the nail foil and that covered up those little patchy spots so this is the part of the video that made me contemplate whether or not i should keep this part in or take it out as you can see the color payoff is just not good and that is because i had to go into iMovie to add some light to it because it was really dark i don't remember if i had my full lights on or not i'm going to assume that i didn't and the way that the color was showing up on camera was just terrible so i tried to lighten it up and this is what i got so i hope this doesn't bother you too much when you are fading the poly gel you do want to make sure that your brush has a significant amount of liquid on there because you don't want to have a dry brush and you're trying to pull the poly gel to fade and you're just basically bringing all the product to the front you don't want that you want the product to stay where it is so that it can be pigmented you just want to fade out the end so right in that middle part i'm taking my brush and it's significantly more wet and i'm just lightly brushing the poly gel up to get a nice looking fade other than that, the poly gel application is the same. This poly gel is very easy to use. I've been using this for a while now, so I don't have any complaints and I really do like Savalance poly gels. So as far as the cuticle work and everything, you just do a pat in motion, real slow, real simple. You don't let it go over the cuticle. You don't let it go over your fingers or anything like that because then you're going to have to do a lot of cleanup, which we don't have time for. I will say that the Savalan Poly Gel is a little bit more on the thicker side and more than likely it's because it has all this pigment in it plus it has the glow in the dark pigment to it so that's why it's a little bit stiffer and that's why you'll see me wet my brush a lot more in this case to move the poly gel to where I want it to be but it's not anything that I would complain about because as you can see it's not running. And that's what you don't want when you're using poly gel. I mean, it happens sometimes, but it can be annoying to be over here chasing poly gel and trying to get it back into place after you've already placed it where you want it to go. I will say this, the way that acrylic and monomer ratio works is very similar to how poly gel works. If you don't have enough liquid on your brush, you're not going to be able to move that poly gel easily. And you will know because it will get stuck in your bristles and then you'll have to soak your brush in acetone. So to prevent that, make sure you have a good amount of liquid on your brush before you go into the poly gel. You don't want it sticking. If there's any signs of sticking, you need to go in and get some more alcohol in your brush. This is how the poly gel looks after it is cured. Now we are getting into the nail art portion of this video. We are going to start off with this blue glitter from AB Gel. 
I use my liner brush to outline the outskirts of the nail because the nail foil did not adhere properly and you can barely see it but it does shine through. I actually went on top of the nail after I put on the clear coat of poly gel and I redid the outline just so you can see it a little bit better. I feel like it helped a lot though. If you've been watching for a while, then you already know you don't apply stability with your color poly gel. You wait until you do it with your clear. We are running out of our clear from Model Ones, but we will be re-upping. If you don't know, I do get the Model Ones clear poly gel from Amazon. This is a big tube of it, and it's lasted a very long time. Like, I'm talking months. I've done full sets with just clear. And I do capping with clear. Either way, I have been using this for a very long time. And I still have a little bit more left, but I just want to be on the safe side just in case. So after I put on the clear coat, I did go in and just wipe off the sticky layer with a alcohol pad. I also went in and I clipped the tips of the nails because I wanted to do something different. And in this case, I just changed the nail shape to coffin versus stiletto. Now we are taking the dotting tool, my favorite tool, and we are using Madame Glam's Perfect White to create hearts on the nail. I don't keep these hearts on the nail. I do end up wiping them off and starting over, but just for the purpose of you doing it for yourself, I did want to leave this in, even though it is a little bit out of focus. So to make a heart, an easy heart, you're just going to make two dots, and then you're going to connect them at the bottom by drawing lines. And basically you're making a V with two dots and then you're connecting it in the middle to make a full heart. Y'all know me, I'm always switching some stuff up. Even if I feel like it looks good, I don't feel like it's enough. So now we're going in with the same white from Madame Glam and we're making a X and a O. Now I do this a couple of times to get it right because it just wasn't giving what I wanted it to give. So I had to do what I had to do. Here we go with some more hearts. So again, I am just drawing two dots and I connect them by drawing a line from each dot in the shape of a V. And then I just fill in the middle part to make it look like an actual heart. This one is a lot bigger. It's a lot more clear. So I hope that this helps you all who are trying to do your own nails and draw a heart on your nails. Now I haven't mastered that, that outline of a heart we haven't mastered that one yet, but this one, we got this one down pat. Now, this part right here, this might be where I messed up, y'all. I did too much. Y'all know how I always say, like, I do too much when I do my nail sets? It's literally in every nail set at this point. I saw blank spots, and I was like, oh, let's add some dots. And then, let's turn those dots into like sparkles. Who told me to do that? Just doing too much. And that's just that. Now, you want those lines to be sharp at the end so it can really look like a diamond type shape I, I didn't do that I was working on limited space and it really shouldn't have went in there but I was doing too much like always now we are pulling out pigment powders these some of them glow in the dark some of them don't I don't really know which ones glow but we are pulling these out and we are going to make this nail art pop now was this pigment needed for this nail set I would say no I would absolutely say no. I think that the white looks really nice, but something in my brain said, do more. Don't stop right here. Do more. I do think the more made the design. If you agree, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you're notified of part two of this video. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you next time. You went flying baby spur. Hey, you went dry around world. Hey, you went brown like squirrel. Are you sitting there, pearls? Are you